Hi, Barbara here, and I'm back in the home of Wild Bill, and it's just he and I this time, like the very first video that has been over a year ago. And this is the seventh video. We can't believe it. So thank you all very much for all your interest in the videos and all your comments and the questions, which we're going to answer just a few of the questions this time. Before we begin, I just want to give a shout out to Chef Ed, who is the owner and chef at Savor Restaurant in Charlottesville, Virginia. We uh, ate there, my husband and I, a few months ago. Wonderful food. Chef Ed is just a pleasant person, so if you're ever in the Charlottesville, Virginia area, please check out the Savor restaurant. Also, a shout out to Ken West, who Ryan and I met while we were down in Shenandoah National Park. Ken, you were hiking the Appalachian Trail. We hope you uh, did okay, and we hope you and your buddies were successful in your hunt this year. And also, Rafa Ola. The package is on the way. All right, now I'm going to have some questions for Bill. The first one is, Bill, will you be traveling and visiting Europe anymore? That is from Sarah. Not quite this year. I, I think I spent 16 times I visited Europe. I don't think so this year. No plans yet, honey. Okay. Matthew asked if you can tell a little bit about Johnny Martin when um, you and Franny were with him on his honeymoon in Ohio. And uh, what city in Ohio did he live in? Franny and I spent a honeymoon in Columbus, Ohio. And Johnny Martin lived in Columbus, Ohio, lived on 42 Mays Boulevard in Columbus, Ohio. Then he moved to Marion, then to Phoenix, Arizona. And he died in January of 05. And his wife died too, Pat. All right, Pete asks, can you um, tell uh, what was the difference between Winters and Spears as company commander? Winters and Spears. Well, Winters was a leader. Spears was a leader too. The only difference between the two of them, don't smoke a cigarette with Spears. Okay, and also were Captain Spears and Lewis Nixon portrayed accurately in the series? Most of the men portrayed in the series is correct, as we remember. All correct. That's what made the band of brothers good. Correct. Okay. Um, Hale asked, how many K rations did you have for D-Day? Well, we loaded up on everything, and I would say this, probably most of the time everybody lost everything. So we didn't worry about food, we worried more about killing the Germans on these day um, Trink, who is in the 26th Yankee Division, who will be going off into battle. Uh, Trink, thank you for serving our country. How scared were you when you got into your first firefight with the Germans, and how did you overcome that fear? Well, when we got into the first fight, everyone was scared. When, once them bullets start flying at you, it's not to scare anybody, but we trained well. We were trained well for the mission. We, we accomplished our mission. We were trained well. We are scared, certainly. Um, Esther asked, how do you keep, oh, excuse me, do you keep in touch with Frank John Hughes? Well, Frank John Hughes is in Hollywood now. He's making a lot of TV movies. He's writing a lot of movies now, too. He keeps in touch with me and his wife, Darlene, and his son, Chris. I keep in touch with him. We're like all the rest of HBO and the a lot of actors, too. Jordan asked, was it worth joining the military to fight for your country? And do you still think that's true for today, for the young men and women to join the military to fight for your country? Well, back in World War II, everybody volunteered for service. Everyone. America was one. Today, it's not that way. But I'm proud and I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy I serve my country. Very proud. But for the um, young men and women that want to join the military, would you encourage that to fight for the country today? What's the price of freedom? Ask yourself that. What's the price of freedom? And that you should answer that yourself. Right. And as you said, you heard, until you lose your freedom, you don't know what it is. True. So, you don't know. Right. And last question for now is, Oscar asks, have you ever visited Henry's grave? Yes, I visited Henry's grave. My brother went in that Tuno Casino at least. When I, when I went overseas 16 times, I never, ever failed to visit the cemeteries. Always pay our respects and remember them all. Well, that's it for the questions now, and um, I will get to the rest of them soon. So, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and now Bill has a few words to say. I'd like to tell you this. I just received a book, if you could see it. It's called The Nightingale of Mosul. It's written by George Love's wife, Sue. She's a, he's a colonel in the uh, nurses' corps. It's written by, when conjunction with Marcus Bre Brereton. 
Read this book. It's all about the nurses. The nurses of World War II and all the wars are my heroes. Read this book, please. You'll love it. All right. Thank you. God thank bless. You. Take thank care. You too. God bless you and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to all. Bye. Bye.